this was a tricky old tricks weekly challenge um and i love something to get my brain kind of thinking like in, in that way so um here's the macro that i've built um it matches the output here uh with the answer and the remainder because if you just try and be sneaky and divide uh turn field one into a double and then divide it by field two you will not get the correct answer as is already hinted here so um let's see how we can break it down instead so i basically went with the idea of um with long division so we kind of break up this long number into different smaller segments so that we can do those divisions um so let's take a look at that so first of all i thought what's the basically i wanted to know how many um segments i was going to split it up into um so i did the length of the field that we want to um, divide and divide that by the length of the second field. So basically that gives us like 22 divided by four. And I'm taking the floor so it's a whole number and that gives us five. Um, so it's gonna split it up into segments that are about four uh, characters long, but obviously 22 isn't divisible exactly by four. So we're gonna have a little bit left over, not a problem. Um, and then we generate some rows so that we have a row for each of those little segments. Um, before then going and splitting those up. So using the substring function um, on that field one, um, doing it four times the row count where it should start. So remember the substring starts at zero um, and then we want the length to be four there. So we get our uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so on and so forth, um, split up like that. Um, and I've also duplicated that field here because I want to keep the original because uh, I'm going to do something basically to this uh, substring. But I want to know what it was originally um, later on in the calculations. So just duplicating that field to keep those values fresh. OK, um, and then basically, so if you're um, thinking about long division, then you kind of have breaking things up into little smaller chunks. So we see that for the first chunk, um, it's going to be nice and simple. There's going to be nothing remaining when we divide our substring by our field two. That's just going to be one. Um, but when we get to this next substring, that doesn't divide um, in a whole way. There'll be decimals involved. So we need to work out the remainder of this divided by this and then add that remainder to the beginning of the next substring in kind of, if you're using like the box shelter method of long division, uh, that's how I would do it if I was doing it by hand. Um, so that's the methodology that I took to think about that. So in order to do that um, dynamically and pass that through the rows, that's what I've done with a multi-row uh, multi formula. Yes, that's the one. Um, so you see the first two substrings remain unchanged uh, just because there's no remainders from the first division. But then from the second division, we get this remainder of two hundred of 742. Um, so we just put that in front of our substring so that that's how that, that looks. And then we can divide this number by this number and again, add the remainder to the front of this uh, string. So that's how we go through and do that. That's basically what this formula is doing. It looks really gross, but it's basically saying um, if there is no remainder, which is saying if our division has is equal to the no decimal places version um, of that number, then we just keep that substring unchanged. Um, otherwise, we'll take the um, substring of the row before. So in this instance, if we're on row three, for example, so we'll take this substring, divide it by um, this number and then minus away the floor of that. So basically, um, what is the remaining value there. Oh, that's confusing, isn't it? <laughs> um, but that's basically what happens when we add it to the substring. So we're just adding the remainder to the beginning of the substring. Um, I'm not sure that that's explained very well, but that's that's what I did nonetheless. Um, and then we can then start to build out our actual answer. So the string part that I'm going to change into the answer. I should probably have named it answer at this point. Um, but anyway, that's fine. So we're just saying if the row counts zero, so if it's the first number, we don't need any of those um, beginning, preceding uh, zeros. We don't need to pad out the function at all. Um, so we just uh, do the simple uh, division. 
so we're taking the floor of that uh, division that we're doing um, otherwise we're going to pad left these zeros so these zeros how many zeros should we add that should be based on the length of the original substring um, because that's kind of how many placeholders we need to fill in in the longer division kind of methodology that we're using here again not sure how much sense that makes um, but that's what we end up with um, and then we just need to bring those all together so just concatenating the string grouping by the field one and the field two to get our answer field which we can see is right from the solution post and then we just need to work out what the remainder is so we'll just take the last row because uh, that's going to dictate to us what the remainder is um, and then we're just basically how we calculated the remainder before in uh, this step um, we're ca calculating again so we're just doing the substring minus the substring divided by field 2 times by field 2 um, the kind of whole integer part of that and that will give us the remaining value so we just depend that back on and then that's our macro that's our answer so um, I hope that made some sense at the very least but thank you very much for watching